Hey, this is Last Coffee House, and Leaf Storm is a damage dealing grass type move introduced in Generation 4. Leaf Storm deals damage and lowers the user's special attack by two stages. It's wielded by Victory Bell, Executor, Sunflora. <laughs> so. I accidentally pulled up the wrong page. That's the wrong page. Um, just a sec. Uh, yeah. So Leaf Storm is the common translation for Gabriel Garcia Marquez's novella La, ha La Horasca. And I read it uh, as a collection of short stories. I don't know if it was published just with the first story, which was Leaf Storm, and introduced the Macondo, which is a, a fictitious city that's the basis for 100 Years of Solitude, which I have not read. It's on my, it's on the 100 best list that I'll get to. But holy hell, I, I just read it. I wanted to laud its freaking praises. I really enjoyed Garcia Marquez, period. I'm not sure if the other translations do different things with it. It was first published in 1955. Like I said, I don't know if it was just the first story or it had all the stories that I read, but one in particular. I mean, the first one was very good. There was one called A Very Old Man with Enormous Wings that just everything about the imagery in that just blew me away. I absolutely loved it. And it's something that you can puzzle over. It, those who don't know Garcia Marquez's style, it's a kind of magical realism is usually appended to his style. So uh, it's the it's the kind of style that he uses. So it has things like uh, it messes with time and perspective and uh, it often has curious things happening that aren't it's not part of like genre fiction like science fiction or fantasy because it's not about those kinds of mechanisms it's really about grounding itself in reality of uh, emotion and things that really go on and real people but it'll have magical elements that are kind of used to explore and accentuate the reality that it's trying to talk about so the one a very old man with enormous wings it has a lot to do with religion and varying perspectives on religion and it uses magical characters to kind of demonstrate that i don't mean like keebler elves or something it's <laughs> and that one in particular it's about an angel or an old man with enormous wings uh, that some people believe is an angel some people believe is not divine in any way who who just shows up in this couple's backyard and uh, the ensuing interactions that they have uh, with each other and the way that they deal with the, like the town and how the town deals with it and all the results of that all are expressions uh, you know they have some kind of significance behind what's actually going on but they're actually uh, just fun to read period and the prose itself is just delightful it's <laughs> I mean, it seems like a, a word with not enough weight when it comes to describing it but it's just a lot of fun to read and I can't wait to read 100 Years of Solitude to see how it's extended throughout an entire novel like that. Uh, the first story is more about a family. It's dealing with, the family's dealing with the death of the patriarch, as far as I can recall. And it's different perspectives on dealing with that death. And it was a, it was a person who was hated, <laughs> but they're just kind of dealing with that, that emotion and the way that uh, that functions within understanding that it's, it's a family and it's functioning in a certain way, but we hate this person and how does that affect the various participants? And then there are other stories, like there's one story that's a, a single sentence, the entire story is one sentence, so I can't remember much of the contents of that story because I was just like, is there going to be a period? Is he going to use a period? Is this still going? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't remember much of the contents of that one, but it's absolutely worth it. It was it was a short read. It didn't actually have, uh, I think it was 140 pages or something like that. But I'd highly recommend delving into this one, even if just for the puzzling out of like the meanings, the things that he's trying to get at. And I, I have a suspicion that it's much like with like David Lynch's films. You know, he doesn't like it when people try to pin all the things in his movies down into meaning something or being representative of something. He says that they're bigger than that. There's more to it than that. And I, I suspect that a lot of that is not so straightforward when it comes to Garcia Marquez. And it'll be more clear when it comes to... And this was actually a precursor to 100 Years of Solitude. He uses, like I said, a lot of the things and themes and ideas and stuff that would come in into that. But I'm guessing that there's not a, a strict one-to-one -one and that that would be kind of a reduction of what he's trying to do but there are a lot of things that are representing emotions and ideas related to concepts that are being like i said amplified in reality in a magical way so it's I, it's kind of difficult i don't know if that makes perfect sense to everybody listening but i think it's the best way to kind of describe the way it functions so i will definitely i'll be reading this one again i don't have the full breakdown as i usually would you know top to bottom and quotes and all that stuff 
but I just wanted to get a, a little thing on record. I'm sorry for the delay between things. It turns out I, I had an insane week related to my, my real day job, so I apologize for that. I read this in the meantime, and I wanted to talk about it, so I highly recommend it, and I'm going to try to figure out some way. I don't like the dichotomy or the black and white, the binary. Uh, I recommend versus not re- recommending, or this is good, this is bad. You know, it's just so point. I think we need to elevate our the ways that we structure our thinking around everything. I think that's the only way to get out of the doldrums of binary politics and and binary good and evil and all that sort of stuff. I really think there's a a level of complexity that we need to aspire to when it comes to everything because that's going to accentuate us doing that in other realms. So if we do it with like fiction and film and all that sort of stuff, then we're more likely to do it, which is where it's easier. We're more likely to do it and be more complex and, and thoughtful and have better ideas when it comes to politics and religion and whatever else. So anyway, that's Leaf Storm by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, published 1955. People should read it, especially a very old man with enormous wings. If you have any ideas about it, please email me at the last coffee house at gmail.com and we'll talk about it. I will do everything I can. If anybody wants to talk about it, I really want to talk about it. So if anybody wants to talk about it, I'll do whatever I can to respond to it and have a, a real fruitful discussion about it. Okay, but that's it. That's the last coffee house. Thanks. Bye.